Hi, today I'm going to go through how to read a photoelectron spectrum, which is unit 1 of AP chemistry. So first we want to look at the x-axis, which is in energies, and it always goes by um, an exponential amount. So see how this does not go by like 1, 2, 3. It doesn't uh, move linearly. It actually goes times 10, times 10. So this is um, exponential, so something to keep in mind. And the, the higher the number, the more energy is required to remove that electron from the atom. And on this side... Um, for the y-axis, it's always the relative number of electrons, but they never really give you the number. So you, um, how you look for the scale is you look for the peak that um, is the closest to the highest energy level, which in this case, the highest is 1,000. So this peak is the very first one. And this peak will always be 1s2 or 1s because we know that we have to fill up the first subshell in order to have other subshells. And we can also tell that the rest will be 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and 3p2. The reason that we can say this is because the x-axis is in ionization energy, which is basically the energy required to remove an electron from the atom. And the closer these atoms are to the nucleus, the harder they are to remove. So that means that the ones that require the least amount of energy, which is this peak, for example, would be the outermost, sp2, and the ones that require the most energy to remove would be the innermost uh, core electrons, which is the first subshell, and the first subshell is always 1s2. Now that we know that the highest energy level for this element is 3p2, we can look on the periodic table to see which element this actually shows. So I'll just count off 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p2. 3p2 ends off at silicon. So we know that this photoelectron spectrum represents the silicon atom. If a proton was added to the nucleus, in which direction would each of these peaks shift? So we know that right now we have silicon, which has 14 protons, and let's just put them right here and pretend that this is the nucleus, right? And then this is the first subshell, second subshell, and third subshell. Thinking of it like this kind of helps me visualize. So if we were to add another proton into the nucleus, it would be 15 protons, and all of these electrons will be pulled even closer and towards the nucleus because there's more protons now, so it has a stronger nuclear charge. And therefore, to answer this question, in which direction, all these peaks would move to the left because it would have a greater energy, so it would be closer to a thousand now.